Let's talk about some of the other races that we have in this pick six, pick five sequence leading into the Belmont. Are there any horses that you're going to be keying on in horizontals or betting as win contenders in any of the races? I believe you have a contender in the Ogden Phipps, which is race seven. Yeah. So the Ogden Phipps race seven, I think is, is first of all, this card is an amazing card overall. This is going to be one of the more fun races as a horse racing fan and frankly, as a better to watch, right? Regardless of where you end up, you've got Swiss Skydiver. I'm here at Belmont with Swiss Skydiver. Unfortunately, um, she popped a small fever this morning and we're going to have to scratch her out of the Ogden Phipps, unfortunate, but just one of those things in racing. You've got number three, Latruska, at nine to five on the morning line. And you've got number five, She Dares the Devil, at five to two on the morning line. All have run huge races in their career. She Dares the Devil won the Kentucky Oaks last year, is coming off a grade one win at Churchill uh, on Friday before the Derby. Uh, you've got Latruska, who's coming off of a great grade one apple blossom win, an upset over Monomoy Girl and Swiss Skydiver. All three of these horses are horses that either need the lead, want the lead, or are going to be very close. I think we're going to get a contentious pace in here. And while these are the three shortest prices, I actually went to number two, Valiance, as my top pick in here. Again, trainer Todd Pletcher, jockey Luis Saez, coming in off of a really good second place finish in the Breeders' Cup Distaff last November, making her first start as a five-year-old. She lost that race, the Breeders' Cup Distaff, only by a length and three quarters to Monomoy Girl, who we know is just an absolutely amazing horse. In terms of Brisnet speed figures for Valiance, she's coming in off three 100-plus speed figures in Brisnet, uh, which is frankly faster than any horse in this race. The other horse that I looked to in here is the number seven, Bonnie South who's been a closer for Brad Cox, getting Joel Rosario aboard, who is one of the best riders, especially with this type of horse. Uh, this horse is coming off of a grade three win at Keeneland earlier in April. And I think that this pace scenario and Bonnie South's post position being in post seven sets up really nicely for her in here, especially given that it's a mile and a 16th. And a mile and a 16th at Belmont is only a one-turn race because of how uh, wide and long this track is, which really, I think this post position sets up really well for Bonnie Smith. She's going to be able to work out the trip that she wants. And Joel Rosario at 10 to 1, a great horse to include on your horizontals. My win bet will be on number two, Valiance here. Yeah, I've, I've attended a bunch of Belmont Stakes Days, and in the past, I've certainly seen a number of pace meltdowns in the Ogden Phipps for whatever reason. I think there's actually a few races on this card where we could see a complete pace meltdown and some closers coming up running late. So I really agree with you. I like Valiance quite a bit as well. Going to talk about a couple of horses who I think are decent values based on their morning line odds. Race nine, the Met Mile, my personal favorite race every year. And wow, my personal favorite horse in training by my standards ended up in this field. 10 to 1 on the morning line, I think is an absurd price for one of the potential top handicap horses in the country. So I'm certainly going to be taking a shot. I know people are high in Nick's go, but by my standards at that price, I think is worth playing across the board. And then race 10, the Manhattan Stakes, the race directly before the Belmont Stakes. Chad Brown has four runners in here, but I really like the number five masterpiece considered to be his successor to 29 horse, 2019 Horse of the Year Bricks and Mortar. Horse looks to be finally fulfilling its potential. Five to one, six to one on the morning line with Masterpiece. Certainly think worth taking a shot from amongst Brown's four runners. So those might be some horses that I look to include and pick threes as we head into the Belmont Stakes. Or again, just to reiterate, you like the number six note agenda. I like the number two essential quality. I also like note agenda as well. So that'll do it for us for now. Make sure to check out actionnetwork.com and the Action Network app. Conti will have a full card for, I believe, Friday and Saturday at Belmont. And Jeremy Pond, who's one of our editors and another horse racing expert, you should look out for his horizontal and vertical wagers for Saturday. He had quite a good preakness, so hopefully we can continue that run here. That'll do it for us for now. Thanks for tuning in. Hopefully you catch some bets this weekend, and best of luck. Mm -hmm.